Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. Today guys, I just have a little tip for you on EC3 and EC5 connectors. Uh, this is not going to be an installation. Uh, there's uh, quite a few of those already out there. Uh, most people know how to solder by now. Um, what this is going to be about is I was using some of these EC5 connectors. There's different brands out there. There's Low-C, there's E-Flight, and there's some generics. Well, I had bought these from uh, an online company, and these were some kind of no-name brands, uh, unbeknownst to me. I didn't know that when I bought them. I usually use the E-Flight, but I wanted to get some, and uh, they had these in stock. Now what happened was, this one has been cut off, guys, alright? But this one was splitting down the side here. It was opening up. And I think these were just some generic cheap knockoffs. So I bought some uh, Low-C and some E-Flight ones. And this is just going to be a little tip in case this happens to you. Now, you don't have to go re-soldering and re, you know... Uh, putting a new one all together. All you have to do is take a razor blade um, and go down like a razor knife and be careful when you do it. And you just want to go down the side with the razor knife and cut it on both sides and then take like a little pair of needle nose pliers and just pry it a little and these wires will pop out. Okay, you don't have to go re-soldering new connectors and the whole bit. So, but, when you go to put, uh, this applies more to an EC5 because these are bigger, bulkier connectors. When you want to put a new one on, it's not going to be as easy as you think. But I'm going to give you a tip to make it super easy. Now, Anybody who's done these uh, should probably know by now that when you're done soldering these connectors, okay, you want to put them into that EC5 connector immediately. You want it hot. It's not going to melt it. It makes it slip and pop right down in there. If you try to do these when they're cold, guys, it's going to be a nightmare. And you're going to end up either stabbing yourself uh, with a screwdriver or you're going to end up breaking the connector or hurting yourself. Uh, so the way to do this, now this is this is a, applying to repairing one that is cracked and you're just replacing the blue plastic, okay? What you want to do is get yourself a good powerful hair dryer, okay? And what you want to do is get your wires and just slip them in a little bit so half of the metal is still coming out of the EC5 and you want to heat that connector up good and hot so it's almost burning you and you can actually keep it going the the uh, hair dryer keep it going on there for a couple of minutes and what you want to do is get yourself a piece of rubber okay so you don't damage and squish the ends of the EC5 by putting them on something hard because when you're applying pressure you can bend these up a little and what you want to do is get yourself a screwdriver like this this is a Craftsman uh, regular screwdriver flat blade flat on there screwdriver okay small enough to fit in the corner of the EC5 and I do them from the insides not on the outsides. If you do them on the outsides most of the time they'll end up splitting. So do it I hold this do it on the inside parts there and there and if you heat this thing up guys with a hair dryer and you take this it'll pop right in there it'll be like a hot knife through butter. Two seconds and bink bink and you're done. These are a little smaller, they're not, not as bad. Uh, you can kind of get away without heating these up. But on these big boys they're a little tougher. 
Uh, so I'm sticking with, obviously, the name brands. When I bought them, everybody was sold out of the others, so I bought these. These had no name on them, and they turned out to be garbage. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's just a little tip on uh, fixing an EC5 that split on you and having to replace the casing. Uh, use a hair dryer, a couple of minutes, and one of these little flat screwdrivers, and it'll pop right in there. If you try to do it without heating it up, guys, you're not going to get it in there, period. They will not go in there. You're going to end up pushing so hard, you're going to end up breaking the casing, and you're going to end up stabbing yourself with a screwdriver. They tell you in all the manuals they have to be hot to pop in. If you try to put them in cold, they're not going to go in, period. So, there's a little tip on EC5s and EC3s for you guys for repair. And if you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho, and I thank you for watching.